we're leaving Walmart right now. We went there to go check for spray bottles and pumice stone because I found out that if you spray fabric softener with water on the upholstery that has the dog hair and you use a pumice stone, they should remove it immediately. Even quicker than using the, um, the dog uh, fur brush or whatever that is. I gotta hold on when Joe do these turns. So we ran into uh, my friend Jesse, that's the councilman, and his wife, she's a member of the school board, and I told them about Tracy's request for somebody from the city, if not the mayor, somebody from the city, give us a tour of the inner workings of the city and all the history and the beauty and stuff like that. He got so excited and he said, yes, we will set that up and do it, and he was even thinking of ideas of where to take us so that we can record and make a show off of that. So yay! Plus, I asked him, um, who do we call to come trim this one tree on our street? Because the tree is so low across the street that it scrapes the top of your car and it hits your uh, windshield when you go through there. So he says, text me the address and I will send somebody out at once. Oh my God, it's so good to know people in high places. <laughs> Today is uh, Friday, October the 27th and we did get a settlement from State Farm and I am so grateful with what the, set, what the settlement is. Hold on, let me get my phone, hold on. That phone call that interrupted us just now was from my Aunt Lita. I was almost home anyway, so I just finished up my phone call with her, put the few items away that I picked up at Costco, and now here I am. So let's get back into the conversation that I was having in the car with you guys about my friend slash councilman, Jesse. I met Jesse and his wife in Walmart, we got to talking about Tracy's request, you know, asking him if he would give us a tour of the city because he's a city council member. You know, we don't have to have the mayor. We could have just somebody else on the team. He was excited. Let me tell you, I think this is something that will happen and happen soon because he was super excited and he says, let's plan this. I'm going to go home and think up ideas of where I'll to take you. And he was making suggestions of places I wasn't even aware of. And I think this is something that will happen. So I'm going to keep up on it, okay? So now I brought up the tree to him because the tree is on that side of the road and every time we come down here to come home, the tree will you know, scrape the top of our vehicles, it will slam on top of our windshields. When we had the explorers, it would hook up in the antennas uh, for the explorers. And so he says, no, that's public works. I'll send somebody right away and they'll take care of it. I wasn't sure who to call because when we first moved into this house, the city came and planted a tree right in front of my house where that my my own tree is right now and they put a sign on it saying i'm an oak tree i belong to the city but you the homeowner must feed and nurture me or water me or something and you must also prune me i'll say uh-uh oak trees get to be big i'm not going to be able to prune that and then it's going to fall on my house in the first wind so we took that out gave that to somebody and we put our own tree here and we picked one that we liked that was you know at the shop and we saw how big it got when it was mature and we know that we can take care of it and we've been taking care of that little tree since day one and I'm pleased with that. So somebody's gonna come cut the tree, all right? Anyways, let me tell you what happened at State Farm today. Got there right on time. They took me in right away. The guy assessed everything, it was really nice. He came back and showed everything that was wrong and there was a lot of damage to the vehicle as you guys could guess. Thank God there was nothing wrong with the frame. The frame is not bent. But with the estimate he gave me and the payout that they gave me, now I can take that money and do what I want to do with it or I can take it and fix the car. So they gave me enough. I'm not going to give you guys the dollar amount here because I don't believe in putting that kind of stuff out here publicly so people can hold you to it. But what they gave me, I'll be able to uh, buy back a car for um, Josh, a car from the auction, of course, not a car, not a car from a dealer or anything. And I am so excited about that because Joshua forfeited his Maxima that he bought on his own since 07 he's owned that car and he for forfeited that earlier in the year when we started doing the business because the Grand Prix was slow in selling and then he kept the Grand Prix for a while and then he forfeited the Grand Prix you know to pretty much feed us and pay bills and because of that he did not go back into school this last quarter because they go for quarters every uh, they go for three months at a time so he did not go from August to what, the end of December, I think it ends, or in the middle of December it ends. And he was going to take an online course because he couldn't, you know, go to school because he didn't have a car. He was going to take an online course, but then he found out just taking the one course, they would give him less money for the grant, and he would have had to come up off of $1,000 to pay for that one course. So what he's going to do is take his full 12 units, 
He's going to sign up right here November 4th. And he might have to come up off of three or $400 to pay for those classes. So that's way better than a thousand. And then he'll have a car. So I am so excited. Whatever is left over after Joshua gets a car, if I can add maybe a little bit more on top of it, I'll buy another cheaper car to flip, like maybe get a car that's, you know, $800 or something, flip it for maybe twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars $1,400. And whatever profits I make off of the flip of that car, that's what I'm going to put into fixing the Tahoe because Walter will fix it for way cheaper. Right away, Joe's going to buy the taillights. We have to replace those right away. Uh, right away. They work, but it's one of them is cracked. And I think you have to buy them by pair because they're custom. So we're going to replace that right away. And then the rest of the stuff Joe will do after we flip a car off of this money. So I am really, really grateful. Do you guys see how what the enemy meant for evil? God turned for my good because I'm always prayed up. That lady came careening down the street. Thank God we were not in the car. Thank God we were not near the car to get hurt. Thank God nobody else was there to get hurt. And she played the fool, didn't have insurance. I'm sure they're going to suffer the consequences for a long time because they may even revoke their license. They're not going to be able to buy insurance from nobody for what they did because this is all reported. State Farm stepped up and took care of me immediately. State Farm was like, just release it saying they don't have no insurance. We'll take care of our, our member, you know? And I went there and they didn't nickel and dime me. So it's like, boom, boom, boom. Here's a check. Bye. And so I went and put it in already. The bank gonna talk foolishness about it's gonna be held for two days. So it's gonna be released on the 31st. I'm like, how you figure? Today is the 27. You counting 28 and 29 off? When I put in any check on a Friday, it clears on a Saturday. So I'm expecting that it's gonna clear Saturday. And even if it doesn't, it's still okay because we don't need the money till Tuesday. That does, that's the first opportunity that we have to get a car for Josh from the one we have another auction that we don't buy from anymore because they don't have license plates on the cars but we're not afraid to buy for ourselves because you can check the DMV record to see if they have fees and um, you can go register your own car get your own license plate so I don't buy that to sell anymore because people get nervous when it, when they don't see a license plate and you can tell them that there is no fees because you check the DMV record and they won't believe you so rather than sit on a car that doesn't have a license plate, we just prefer to go to the other auction where they'll let you know plain out if the, if the thing has fees, it'll have the license plate that shows the tags. Even if it does not have a license plate, it'll tell you that you know if it has fees or not. And we try not to buy anything from there that don't have any license plate, at least for resale. You know, for ourselves, we, we're not afraid because we can check these things. So I am so excited for Josh. Josh is so grateful. He goes, Mom, I'm going to get a car back. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. I'm like, no, thank you. He's been such a good son helping us keep this business afloat since we started doing it full time in January. He's been our banker. You know, when Joshua worked at the shop and we paid him, he saved all his money. And so he's been our banker getting us through it. The bank was kind of whittling down to nothing. And now... It's building back up a little bit because you know we're, we're doing the flips and, and making the little profits and so um, yeah he deserves it I think there's something to be said you know for a kid that takes care of uh, his parents you know the, the Bible says that I think it's the fifth commandment honor your parents that your day may be long you know and that's what he's done that's the only commandment with a promise if you honor your parents your days are gonna be long which means you're gonna have long life and hopefully a long healthy life there's another part to that uh, commandment that says parents don't send your children on to wrath. Parents tend to forget that and they tend to antagonize their kids and, you know, make them angry. I used to know um, a woman that I met when I had the shop. I met from the people who had a store next door and I really liked this lady. She was just really, really loving and kind and everything else, but she was just like something not right about her that I wasn't sure of. And so there came some time when we had to work at the shop like into wee hours of the morning to get some projects done. And she came to help for free. She's like, I just wanna hang with you guys. I'll pack bottles, I'll do anything. She brought her 15 year old son with her and he was the sweetest, most quiet young man, very respectful. And all of a sudden she looked up from her job that she was doing and she looked at him and goes, what are you looking at? And she starts fighting with him. And then she got into this anger and then she walked out of the store and she walked around that whole complex at night at one o'clock in the morning by herself. And I'm like, I forgot what that kid's name was. What was his name? Bar Barnett. I'm like, Barnett, where's your mom? Where did she go? I'm not going to walk over there to go find her. And then he says, she gets like this and she calls the police on me. You know, and she was like a light skinned lady with pretty hazel eye and stuff, but her son was like really, really dark skin, like, like Josh's color. 
And I said, she calls the cops on you? Does she see how dark you are? They're going to shoot you. And he goes, I get so scared. I'm not even doing nothing. I'm in my room doing my homework. And she gets mad. She starts screaming at me for certain things. And then she calls the cops. And the cops come out. And then they have to calm her down. I'm like, oh, my God. So I remember when the lady that I met this lady through, one of her daughters had taken in Barnett for a while and said, you know, I got to protect him. He's such a good kid. And so um, that I, I remember that commandment when I, I, I would tell her, because she would say that the Lord says, honor your parents, honor your mom. I'm like, he's not disrespecting you though. Come on. I said, that um, commandment also says, do not send your kids on to wrath. And she didn't know that part, you know, but I think she had mental issues. But I always remember her and that kid when I think about that commandment. So I am so grateful. I have an attitude of gratitude right now. I'm so grateful I was taken care of by State Farm. I will sing State Farm's praises from the highest mountain top. I've been with this company since 1991. I have everything with them. My sister has my same agent because he's so good. And if you guys are within this vicinity or within the LA area vicinity and you want a good agent, tell me and I'll hook you up with my agent over here because he is good. He's a good man. He takes care of us all the time. And I've never had to squabble or get gypped by State Farm. Now, I don't know if some of you have had a bad experience with State Farm. Maybe you didn't have a good agent. But I'm just saying from my experience, since 1991, that's 26 years I've been with this company. There was a young man that came to the door a while back when they were signing people up for affordable health care. And he wanted to switch. Um, I think he was selling uh, life insurance. And then he says, who do you have life insurance with? And I said, State Farm. And then he says, do you have all your insurance stuff with them? And I said, yeah. And he goes, thank you. Goodbye. And I said, what happened? You're not, you're not going to try to do your sales pitch? And then he says, no. He says, I can't fight with people who have State Farm because they take care of their people. I'm like, that is so true, though. So anyways, it's 3 o'clock now. We don't have to go pick up Jada. Praise God for Colin. Colin is at the studio, which is near the school. So he's going to pick up Jada. We're going to stay at the studio till 5. Then she's going to come home, and then I guess he goes to work. Joe went to the junkyard in Ontario. The one here in Fontana didn't have what we needed. So I went on the website, and I checked out the one in Ontario, and they had the same car we just bought in the same color, same year. So he's going to get the rear view mirror because the mirror was broken at one point, I guess, and they just kind of stuck a mirror onto the thing. It, it looks ghetto. So he's going to re replace the whole mirror. Uh, he's going to see if he can get the vents for the rear air, and he's going to get the arm and whatever he needs for that door that wouldn't work. And then after that, it's just a matter of cleaning the upholstery, taking out the dog hair. The camera just said battery exhausted. Sometimes the camera will shut off because it's overheating, but this time the battery went dead, y'all. So I had to go get another battery just now. Anyways, as I was saying, if you put one part fabric softener to seven parts water in a spray bottle and spray it on the upholstery and you use a pumice stone, you should be able to get up the dog hair. The dog hair is only on the third bench on the back part and in that little area that's the trunk area. It's not in other parts of the car. So um, it's going to be hard because that back seat has like carpeting type material. So if I use like the brush that they use to brush the dog fur, that's going to be four hours of brushing you all, and I don't want to inhale none of that. So I'm going to do what I saw in this YouTube video. Of course, if it works, I'm going to record it and show you guys because I know that maybe some of you have pets inside the house that gets on the furniture, and you want to know how to get it off more easily, right? Our pets don't get on the furniture. When uh, Norman comes here, he's used to being on the furniture, so we'll ha we have a big sheet that we spread over that there recliner, and used to be that would be here when Norman would come, and so Norman would sit here and look out the window, so now he's going to be messed up because that's over there, so that's where he's going to have to go when he comes again, so, and Mario is always saying that he's going to bring Norman when he goes on one of these long trips. I think he tries not to bug us, but when he has no other recourse, then he brings Norman over here. So anyways, that's the day that, that's going so far. I'm going to try to figure out what to eat because I had a slice of pizza at Costco, but when you buy it there by the slices, it's actually two slices together. So I ate half of it, and that's 300 and something calories, but I still feel hungry after I ate it. So, But I didn't want to eat the whole thing because it was 710 calories. No, Costco has a chili that they're selling, and the chili is 540 I think 540 to 600 it might have been four 450 I have that reversed 450 calories to 600 calories for the chili and I think what makes the difference is if you eat the whole bowl the bowl looks kind of big so I think I could get through half of that 
I'm afraid to eat chili in the street though because they put that chili, some type of chili mix in it to make it taste like chili. And uh, that has MSG. So that's why I kind of backed off of it, but it looked so good. So another time when I'm like gone to LA and I'm coming home and I stop at Costco for my lunch, I'm gonna try like eat half of the bowl and see how I feel and see how it goes because I really have a feeling that's gonna have MSG. So anyways, let me go figure something to eat that's healthy, that's gonna make me feel full, and then I'll be back. I'm cooking, guys. Let's see what Joe's doing. You guys see how nice this car is? Hey, Bo. Just came to check on you. Where's the, um, what do you tell me something about the thing that you um, bought? Was it for the door? Huh? Some cup rest thing or something? Was it for this door? Huh? Yeah. Okay. See you guys? He bought the, um, the vents for that. A fly buzzing around me. He couldn't find the mirror. Both of them were missing off of that car, so... This is where we're at, unless we buy it from Amazon. We'll see. We're fixing the most important thing, which is this door. And the door works, it's just the window that didn't work. See how the upholstery is kind of dirty? Just regular wear and tear, we're gonna clean this up. Oh, Joey has a compartment under here. I like that. And it has tape. The kids love when they have tape because they can buy that, um, uh, adapter to play their iP iPods look or their phones I found some of these keychains in the garage so I just made a keychain for it see all the keychains there that I can use when I get these cars we gotta clean up this garage again so he didn't go to the gym today because he was busy fixing that car so now he's working out in here You know what, I tease you a lot, but I'm proud of you. <clears throat> I'm proud of you. Why? Because you're doing it. You're sticking to it. So this is your thing to do your abdominals? Abdominal. My sister wanted to see what this looked like. Abdominal. So Oops. my dad told him how to build this apparatus. That's not going to come down? <laughs> okay. Is that all you do is hang? Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought all you did was hang. I gotta go to get my phone and snap a picture for Tracy. Woo. That's all folks. Like, subscribe. See you guys all again another time. Yeah, daddy, you know, he came on off.